Hey guys, today we're going to make a witch hat brooch or pin. I know it's after Halloween, but I thought it'll be fun to do anyway because witches can be year round. The first thing I did was draw out a witch hat and I did a few different designs, not sure really what direction I wanted to go in, but I eventually chose this one. This whole idea came from a miniature doll belt buckle. I think this is made for a 12 inch doll, but we're going to use it as the hat buckle for the witch's hat. I cut it out. And then I placed it on some black felt and used it as a pattern. I had some fake leather laying around and this is a really thin material. It's really great for working with very small projects like this. So I glued it onto the brim of the hat. I knew that I wanted that part of the hat to be very flat and not move. But the top, I kind of want to be wrinkly. I wanted to show wrinkles where the hat is slumping over at the top. So I only glued the brim and then I used a needle and thread and sewed on the sides to gather it a little bit. Once that was done, I laid some more glue down and then I used some bottles to weight it down. I happened to be working in my bedroom at my vanity and so I used makeup bottles, but you can use anything, obviously. Once that was dry, I cut off the excess fabric pieces and then I tried gluing them down, but that really didn't work like at all. So I ended up going around the edges with needle and thread. I put a piece of black ribbon inside the belt buckle and then I sewed it to the hat. I attached a pin backing to the back of the hat and then I added a piece of felt. What I did was just cut a little slit where the pin could poke through on each side and then I sewed the hat to the back of the felt. I cut out the excess pieces around the hat. And that is it. A completed witch's hat, pin, brooch, button, whatever name you prefer. I really liked how this turned out. And it was a lot of fun to make. I really like how it looks like it's slouching in the front because of the, the way the fabric was laid on top of the felt. I just really love this piece. You can find this item and more in my Etsy shop and on my website. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.